Hi, it's Jess here with another video about saltwater aquariums. Today I'm going to talk about how to mix up some new salt water for your tank. Um, I like the Instant Ocean brand myself, and what we've got here is uh, an AquaClear 10 powerhead and a food safe bucket that I got from our church. And you want to make sure that whatever you mix the salt water in is like a food safe bucket because if it's safe for people, then it'll be safe for fish. Um, you don't want to use something that had something like detergent or some other chemical in there that can leach. Anyhow, today I'm mixing up a little bit more than a gallon. So I've got a measuring cup here, just your standard measuring cup. This one is a half a cup because I usually mix up a gallon. I have a 10 gallon tank so when I do a water change it's approximately a gallon and I need half a cup of salt here per gallon of water to mix up about a about it gets us in the neighborhood of 1.020 to 1.024 you, you kinda gotta play with it it's um, something that you'll just have to learn as you go along so basically you just uh, you get a scoop of salt and this one's not quite level but that's alright it's better to mix it um, a little bit less than what you want that way you can adjust you can always add more salt and if you go over the amount of salt uh, in other words you check it and your specific specific gravity is too high that's okay because you can just add a little bit of water and in my case I like to use RO water just out of a machine uh, usually go down 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 I'm sorry I usually go downtown and get about five gallons at a shot I got a big five gallon jug and um, with a small tank like mine maybe once every two weeks or so maybe once not quite once a month but because I change uh, I do my water change about um, every 15 days that's what it comes out to when I uh, do my nitrate and ammonia test and I'll be putting up more videos about that pretty soon so anyways we just put our salt in there and we let this mix up and uh, I'll be back in a little bit to show you how to check it with the hydrometer and see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. It's been, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so, so the water's pretty clear. So let's check it and see where we're at. This is a, a hydrometer. And I kind of like these ones better than the floating ones because you can pick it up and then read it. Uh, Alright, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is at about 1.012, so it's still really low. So what I'm going to do is just add some more salt, wait a little bit longer, and then recheck it. So I will see you back here in another few minutes after we let the salt mix into the water. There's no really rhyme or reason about how much you add. Sometimes I just go by handfuls. Um, just add a little bit of a time, a little bit at a time, and... Uh, keep rechecking so we'll see in another few minutes like I said there was more than a gallon in here to begin with so that um, half a cup would I knew it wasn't going to be enough but that's alright so no big deal we just add some more salt and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes okay so it's been a few more minutes let's see where we're at just dump this little fella in here oh uh oh we are up in the high section. Okay, so that is about one. It's about one. I gotta hold it up here out of the way. 1.024 to 1.025. Okay, that is a little bit high. But there's a really simple solution. All you have to do is add water, which I can't show you doing that because I can't hold the camera and pour the water at the same time but no big deal I just have my water in here in this big old jug I just add a little bit and uh, that'll come right down no big deal um, for all you new people out there that might be considering this and thinking oh that's a lot of work it's really not and there's really alright so let's check it and hopefully we'll be closer this time Okay. Well, I gotta hold it up straight here. It's 
right about 1.025, so that's high. But that's not a big deal. All you do is add water. And uh, I got my big old five gallon jug here. And unfortunately, I cannot pour the water and fill this at the same time. So what you do is just you add a little bit of water and you, you check it again. You add a little bit of water, you check it again. And really, it's, it's actually easier to mix it. Um, like if it's high, if there's too much salt in there, because the water, you know, you just add it, it. You don't have to sit and wait the 10 minutes like you do when you add the salt for the salt to dissolve and get mixed up. Um, so I did want to touch on really quick. Um, if you're new to the hobby, you may have read about uh, that the water has to match the pH and the salinity exactly in a new tank or in your. In other words, the water that you're adding needs to be exactly matched. And for pH, that is pretty true. You don't you need to make sure that the pH is is fairly close because even if the pH is off like even a tenth or some okay, I'm sorry. Um the pH does need to be pretty close. So if your water um when you're checking your water like sources to get the water from like I said using a machine, you're pretty much going to get the same consistent consistency of water all the time but the pH does need to be pretty close to what's in the tank because if it's not that can be a shock to the fish the salinity um, I mean if your say your tank is at like mine right now is at 1.02 1.023 and say the say this water that I'm mixing up here is 1.020 that would be alright because you're going to add that water nice and slow and it, it really won't bother the fish. In fact, a lot of times I do mix my water with the salinity a little bit lower than the tank because of the evaporation. Uh, in the summertime, you'll notice, and even in the winter too, um, water evaporates. And when the water from the tank evaporates, the salt content stays the same. So when the water goes down, it actually gets more salty. So to combat that, you just add fresh water. And I'll do another video at some point and show you how to do it. It's real simple to set up a freshwater drip. But uh, this is the basics for how to mix up salt, you know, salt water for your initial fill of the tank or just for a regular routine um, water change. So please rate and subscribe. And if you leave a comment, if you got a question, I'll answer them. I'd love to do that. And um, just have a great day. Thank you.